Exactly. And so that actually gets into an interesting thing as well. Only Poth, welcome. Was Neji right? <laughs> Assuming oh that's true. Like, I mean, well, kind so, of. Well, here's the thing, Because you can't though. change your future. No, You can't change your I, outcome. You can't change your circumstance. Well, no, because I think in this one's case, though, the point with Neji versus Naruto is that you forge your own fate, not that you forge other people's fates. If Kawaki just doesn't want be it's like the Aaron thing, he just wants right. to do this, and he always wants to do this, that's Kawaki choosing not He's, to change yeah. his future. How else so he is would forging his own Neji fate. right or wrong? It would just be He's a different but, case. Well, no, but with Neji, the point was at the end of the day, you'll always be a failure because you were born as a failure. So at the end of the day, Boruto and Kawaki are going to fight because they can't forge their own destiny to where they don't fight. No, because Kawaki isn't trying to forge a destiny where they don't fight, though. No, I but, think it's because okay. Kawaki is forging his destiny. He's doing think, it on purpose. He knows what yeah. he's doing. He he's consistently to, acting to in a way. Yeah, he knows, like, he wants to come to this conclusion. Well, this gets into my next point, though, that I thought was really interesting. Because Boruto asked this as a question to Kawaki rather than a blatant statement to Kawaki. He's not saying, Kawaki, this was the only possible outcome. He's and he's saying it specifically to Kawaki. Kawaki was the only possible outcome. I think, assuming they're going this route, they can change it. Yeah. Boruto can't. Only Kawaki has the power to change this outcome to where they don't fight. Not yeah. only literally in the sense of physically fighting here, I'm talking about in terms of fate. Kawaki has the potential to change the darkest future, not Boruto, and Boruto hasn't realized this yet. Well, I think it's, mm. yeah, because, well, I think the darkest future is actually just because of Kawaki in this case. Like, Kawaki is the one doing the darkest future, not Jura. It might be I thought it was of, the Shinju. Well, it but, could be yeah, the Shinju instigated. It's, well, it depends on what the darkest future actually is. It could be yeah, there's a chain reaction. It could reaction. be already here. <laughs> yeah, it could be a chain reaction of the Shinju leads to Kawaki to do whatever. But I don't think it's that Kawaki has the, the fate changing power of the Kokugan. I think it's. <laughs> Kawaki is choosing not to change fate because Kawaki wants then they just right. show me because he's the one who says yeah. that's right to was there no other outcome he's like yes there was no other outcome I because but he wants his outcome <laughs> so assuming they're going this route though this is more than a fight of ideology I kind of would like this because this fight can be about Boruto convincing Kawaki to change their outcome. So in a way, Boruto's fighting not only to save Kawaki, but also in a way to save himself, whether it's from this timeline or a different timeline, where they can be brothers again. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, trying to convince him. Yeah. Kind of, it kind of puts a sadder spin on the story, to be honest. Yeah. But it, it's just good storytelling. Honestly, I really I like, dude, if there's one thing that I want and I hope for and I think I'm praying for is this time some at least if even if it's like not a full time like the speculation is just some sort of like time shenanigans going on. And I, I yeah. think it's plausible just because of like all the introductions of Shibai and Kishimoto specifically using mathematical kanji to imply ascension to a higher dimension rather than just like giving some vague statement that like, oh, he's way stronger like Ishiki or something. I think that, like, the implementation of, like, time, physics, etc. is, like, going to be really cool. I agree. More, I just get scared space. sometimes, like, because when you start to do it, you've got to be careful because I feel like yeah. if they mess it up, it's going to suck. So I, I think yeah. I prefer the fixed timeline of this case because then it doesn't, like, the way we're talking about with Kawaki, because Kawaki always wants to do this or whatever, kind of like Aaron. I, I prefer that because then it's, like, there's no messing up the timeline in a weird way that like sucks writing wise. It's kind of just like, well, I don't know. I don't want them to get so complex that they screw it's, it up. It's risky, but yeah. I almost prefer that experimental style. They could do it wrong, but if they do it right, this goes back to like some overarching themes of Naruto. Exactly what Naruto does against all of his villains. Naruto doesn't save his villains. Naruto convinces them to save themselves. If Boruto can do that for Kawaki, that's beautiful. For the Naruto franchise as a whole. 
I agree. Uh, well, you know what? I get you. you can tie that into the time loop because th this is where it could work. If in every, like the first five times he tries, Borto tries to save Sasuke rather, or to save Kawaki rather than trying to convince Kawaki to save himself, which is what Naruto always does. I think that would work. Yeah. yeah. Then I'm fine with it. Okay. That. But that's, as of right now, that's the only way that I've heard.